Rice dishes can't be that boring with its innovation. It doesn't appear to be impacted by the pandemic. These street foods even become more popular and viral. With its huge population, Jakarta is like the beast of a thousand mouth that must be fed at least twice a day. And to win the competition is nothing but innovation. Our first culinary destination is Jagakarsa. where this unique yet delicious rice-based dishes was originally created. At least 4 million rupiahs on set per day, this street food only sells porridge. But this time, they fry it. Famously known as bubur goreng or fried porridge. How does that not steal anyone's attention? Perkenalkan nama saya Deman yang kerja di bubur goreng Bang Juna. Kerja di Bang Juna hampir tujuh tahunan. Pindah tempat udah tiga kali pindah. Di sini baru tujuh bulan yang baru ini. Awalnya kan di seberang itu. Yang nyiptain bubur goreng ini Dokter Arjuna. Terus di saya dibelajarin sama Dokter Arjun. Saya suruh buka. Kalau hari-hari biasa sekitar 300 porsian. Kalau hari Sabtu Minggu ya. This eatery is always packed with customers. Their parking lot is always full of motorcycles. But don't come during the day, since Bubur Goreng Bang Juna only open from 6.30 a.m. until 12 p.m. and will reopen again from 6 p.m. until 11 p.m. at night. For the car's driver, you can wash your car in car wash right in front of this eatery while enjoying their menus. Mix the delicacy with efficiency. How can this not be that practical? The regular porridge menu is still available. This silky dish still has its texture with a wise portion and lots of condiments. It definitely looks and tastes good but the fried porridge is still their most wanted. The making process of fried porridge is actually quite the same with fried rice. Only this time, they're using porridge as their main ingredient. Kalau bubur goreng emang sih cuma pakai teflon, kalau pakai wajah biasa-biasa susah. Kalau sayurnya daun bawang, daun seledri, sawi putih, bombay, tambah ayam. Kalau yang paling banyak dibeli bubur goreng sih. Kalau mau ngerasain bubur yang nggak biasa, datang aja jalan Jeruk Raya nomor 40 ke Bubur Goreng Bang Juna. First, heat two tablespoons of oil into a frying pan. Then put in amount of onion. Next is to whisk egg. Then blend it all well. Prepare the basic porridge ingredients such as sliced leek, shredded fried chicken, sliced celery and cabbage. Put them all and stir them evenly. After that, add some salty soy sauce. Now it's time for the porridge.
add amount of sweet soy sauce into it. Then mix them well. You can request for the level of spiciness. Two spoons of blended chili will be fine. Blend, blend, blend. And your fried porridge is ready to be transferred to your plate. Top it with sliced cucumber, peanuts, and lots of crackers. Trying a fried porridge for a first-timer, you have no clue how it will taste like. But the smell is dominant with a tantalizing aromatic smell, chicken and onion. Very tempting for your rumbling stomach. After having your first spoon, you're already craving for more. The use of onion and fried egg added an additional aromatic taste and crisp texture to the silky porridge. The combination of all the ingredients is absolutely perfect. Even more, when enjoying it along with their selection of satay, it will give a little more sweet taste to it. Definitely exceeding the expectation of the supposedly bland tasting porridge. And this uniquely delicious and viral dish will only cost you 15,000 rupiah. Absolutely nothing compared with its innovation. Uh, ini kedua kalinya saya makan di sini. Pertama kali itu saya waktu kemarin hari weekend tuh pas kesini ngelihat rame banget ada apa gitu loh. Akhirnya saya coba datang, ternyata ada menu bubur goreng. Penasaran juga tuh. Kebetulan juga ham, itu jam setengah delapan hampir habis juga. Saya pesan dan ternyata enak banget gitu loh. Unik juga nih. Ini yang kedua kalinya saya coba ajak istri saya gitu loh untuk nyobain. Terus di sini juga selain bubur goreng itu ada uh, satenya. Mereka juga menyediakan sate sih. Yang saya coba tadi sate usus. Sate ususnya itu uh, teksturnya dan rasanya memang agak sedikit manis. Cuma itu bisa balance terhadap bubur gorengnya. Dan menurut saya itu worth it sih untuk harga segitu dengan rasa yang kita dapat dan menurut saya juga unik gitu. After around seven years of selling this uniqueness, who would have thought that this menu was made by a doctor named Juna? Pertama kali saya mengetahui adanya bubur ini adalah dari referensi dari dokter kandungan saya yang kebetulan ada di rumah sakit Aulia ini. Beliau sebagai dokter juga uh, punya usaha uh, bubur goreng ini ya. Terus saya cobain rasanya enak banget gitu dan beda dari yang lain gitu kan. Jadi setiap saya ke rumah sakit ini pasti saya uh, usahakan untuk makan bubur ini ya atau enggak. Uh, saya take away gitu karena saya tidak menemukan uh, bubur ini di mana-mana gitu ya pokoknya referensi oke okay banget deh bubur bang Juna After enjoying the first viral menu the next plan is to cool down with this colorful yet delicious and sweet dessert Sop Duren 3D located in Tebet Barat 9 Street number 38 the place is easy to spot since it sits on the side of the main street. A piece of happiness in a bowl of durian ice straight from Soup Durian 3D. The name 3D is derived from the nicknames of the owner and her children, Dini, Dika, and Dira. Since 2016, this eatery has served various kinds of durian presentations that is colorful and tasteful. The price is seriously reasonable compared with the good quality of its ingredients that they are using and has a quite big portion. Next is the top requested menu. Durian keju menggoda or tempting durian with cheese. The making process is quite easy and fast. Only by scooping the frozen durian into a bowl. Pour in some condensed milk and cover it with a scoop of vanilla ice Top it off with a generous amount of grated cheese. Then, your pale colored durian dessert with a shockingly delicious taste is ready to be enjoyed. And this bowl of happiness only costs you 30,000 rupiahs. 
Another top requested menu is their durian strawberry tiamik. The process is quite the same with the previous one. Scooping the frozen durian. Condensed milk. But now, it is garnished with some crunchy strawberry sponge. Lastly, pour the strawberry syrup on it. Look how beautiful and tempting it is. The color, the rich taste of sweet and sour, also the texture. A silky ice, meet the crunchy sponge and crispy frozen durian. It will easily charm the city's gourmet. The last top 3 from Soup Durian 3D is Durian Green Tea Chocolava. The same process. Firstly, scoop the frozen durian. Pour in some condensed milk and a scoop of matcha ice cream that gives a beautiful touch to it. Even more colorful when it's poured with cocoa syrup and chocolate chips. Mmm! Totally a dessert with flair and pleasure. Wait until you blend it together and taste it. The sweet and savory from durian and milk, slightly bitter from the matcha and cocoa, is totally a perfect combination and balance. Ya, sop durian 3D ini mungkin udah berdiri kurang lebih 4 tahunan lebih lah. Dan kita buka mulai dari jam 9 pagi dan tutup sampai 9 malam. Untuk kondisi sekarang lagi pandemi gini. Kalau untuk jam operasional normalnya kita buka tetap pagi jam 9 dan tutup sekitar jam 10 lebihan. Dan di Sop Duren 3D ini juga kita ada banyak pilihan makanan juga, ada dari siput atau iga penyet gitu, dan mungkin macam-macam makanan lainnya kita di sini ada juga. This scrumptious experience won't stop and can be more of an adventurous culinary during the evening. Now, we're going to experience another rice dish, a viral fried rice. Fried rice might not sound significantly unique to the local citizen. The brown fried rice, with indeed an addictive flavorful taste, is famous even among tourists. But this one is different. It has many colors in a plate of fried rice. Because it is nasi goreng warna warni, or colorful fried rice, from Toles Kitchen. Saya berdiri jualan nasi goreng warna warni 2012 di Panglima Polim 5, Melawai 7. Pindahnya ke sini 2014 akhir. Jadi dulu saya pernah kerja di sebuah restoran punya William Wongso. Waktu itu di restoran ada nasi goreng warna, ya kita belajar. 95 bulan 7, saya resign 2010. After 15 years of working with a culinary expert such as William Wongso, Pak Tole then decided to build his own eatery. Serves a red, green, and black fried rice in one plate. And if you think that the colors come from an artificial food coloring, you're definitely wrong. All here is using only natural ingredients. Sebenarnya kalau yang hijau dulu saya pakai sawi hijau sama cabai hijau gede. Tetap saya buang dalamnya itu bijinya saya buang, ternyata ada anak kecil makan terasa pedes. Jadi tinggal saya bu bikin hijau sawi aja. Kalau yang merah dari beetroot, kalau yang hitam dari cumi. Not only the look, but this fried rice has also a unique smoky taste that comes from two times cooking process. First, roast amounts of white rice along with all the blended ingredients. 
Rest them for minutes. And then continue sauteing the rice with each different color. This process will make the colors more stand out. Gives a delicious, dry, smoky taste to it. Just like how fried rice is supposed to be. Then, voila! A plate of rainbow fried rice. Topped with gila or crazy sorts of mixed menu, which means a mixed ingredients between kinds of veggies and sausage. Even more classy, because they sprinkle salted fish instead of fried onions. And this 5-star street food tastes like will only cost you 27,000 rupiahs. Saya makan di sini dulu dari SMP, dari komunitas sepeda, ya dari mulut ke mulut aja. Dari tahun 2014 sampai sekarang masih suka ke sini. Nah, tadi saya pesen nasi goreng hijau, ini juga pesen nasi goreng hijau. Karena dari dulu pesannya itu memang favorit. Uh, pertama kali makan di Tole itu sekitar tahun 2011 atau 2012 gitu. Habis latihan di Bulungan, latihan freestyle basket, habis itu lapar, cari makan. Soalnya ada yang masak nasi goreng, apinya gede banget terus dan kita, wah. Chinese food gerobak nih, pikirin gitu kan. <tuh> Tahunya ternyata nasi goreng dan ya udah akhirnya kita makin tertarik, makin menarik makan sini. There are lots of varieties to be chosen here. From red fried noodles to green vermicelli. But all in fried menu only. Despite the unlikely setup with just a few stools, Crowds still come in many. All who came frequenting can expect a dinner that will satisfy the buzz as much as the hunger. No wonder in a day, from 7 p.m. to 1 a.m., Patoles fried rice can sell out up to 150 servings, especially on weekends. Kita dari Tangerang Selatan, nyobain nasi goreng warna-warni, nggak kecewa deh, worth it. When you have nasi goreng or fried rice as your menu, what kind of innovation that will possibly come across your mind? Adding beef, chicken or seafood? Kinds of vegetables? A certain level of extreme spiciness? Or cook them into colors? But we guarantee there's nothing as unique as this one. Nasi goreng kuah mangdut or fried rice in soup. It's pretty fragrant since the fried rice is cooked on a charcoal stove that will invite even more customers to come and experience this delicacy. Even oftentimes, you have to wait for about an hour to finally be able to taste this uniqueness. Yeah. Nasi goreng. Nasi goreng. Satu jam, mbak. Nantrinya. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The cooking process is actually quite the same with the regular fried rice. By adding in the blended basic seasoning, that is consists of red onion, garlic, pepper, onion and candle nut, mixed with butter. Put in the whisked egg. Next is a portion of white rice. Season with salt, food flavoring, and sugar. Pour in amount of beef chunks from the tongsen. Lastly, season with amount of soy sauce, stir it evenly, and transfer it to the plate. Topped with sliced cucumber and crackers. But it's not done yet. Next is your specialty, the tongsen broth. Pour two to three big spoon of this tasteful and very aromatic broth, then the taste of your fried rice won't ever be the same. The texture of the rice are still dry, even though it's already covered with the hot broth. And the taste too isn't too much. 
sweet and savory with slightly hot from the pepper. In fact, it just feels right. Nasi goreng kuah mang endut that is located in Danau Agung 2 Street No. 16 Sunter is open every day from 6 to 11. It is obvious that visiting during peak hour or around 7 o'clock is not something to consider, as the place is easily packed full with customers. But the good thing is, a plate of fried rice in soup mang endut is truly worth the wait. Makan ke sini karena lihat di sosial media, habis itu nyoba enak jadi ngajak teman-teman ke sini. Dan makan favoritnya nasi goreng pakai kuah. Biasa kalau makan di sini sering deh pokoknya seminggu sekali pasti makan di sini. Menu favoritnya tongsengnya, tapi semua menunya udah dicobain sih. Recommended banget deh parah. So, whenever you're hungry and you think that only rice dish can help satisfy your hunger needs but you'll need to find some unusual options, now there's no need to worry because there are varieties of new and viral innovation menus with rice as their main ingredients. 